So here's your day in the anti-inflammation zone. 15 seconds a day to take all the fish oil you need. And you can maybe put five minutes to replace a meal. 30 minutes per meal to make a zone meal. Moderate exercise and stress reduction. Fortunately, I've got a whole lot of free time. I give the appearance of being busy, but I'm really not that busy. Mar Mary will tell you that. Uh, but you have to focus on, if you want to basically take charge of your life, you've got to spend about two to three hours a day doing exactly that. And this is what you're looking at. Not taking charge of your future, it's taking charge of your life, which is your future. You have to do this every day, the best you can, the rest of your life. And the reason is because you want to keep your hormones in a zone. Things, hormones control everything that's important in your life. They control your weight, your health, your longevity, your mental performance, your physical performance, and your emotions. I can't think what else is important in life that are not controlled by hormones. And if these things are important to you, then take the time and effort to maintain the hormones that do all those things in that zone that's not too high, but not too low. And wellness really depends on personal responsibility. You know, you want to reduce the hormones that actually increase as we age. What are those? Insulin, inflammatory acosinoids, and cortisol. There's no drug to reduce them, but the zone diet can. You want to reduce the hormones that fuel cellular inflammation. Where do they come from? From eating too many omega-6 fatty acids, not enough omega-3 fatty acids, and too many refined carbohydrates. And these are things no drug can do. Only you can do it. So if you do this, you finally get what I call a zone wellness pyramid. Here are the inflammatory genes that make your life a mess. You can silence those genes by following the zone diet, high dose fish oil, polyphenols, and now if you have lots of extra time over and above that, and a lot of extra money, then you can buy hormonal replacement drugs or drugs themselves, nutritional supplements, do exercise, meditation, but don't do this up here unless you've done this down here. And that's why I've always said that medicine's a lot, more com lot, lot less complex than we make it out to be. It's like an iceberg, like the, one the, the, the sister ship of this one hit a couple days ago. You see this above the water, but below the water, it's all interconnected. Here you see the cancer, you see the autoimmune diseases, you see the neurological diseases, you see the heart disease, you see the aging process, as if they're all separate. But they're all really interconnected. Interconnected by cellular inflammation. As you reduce the size of this in your body, the size of these peaks protruding above the surface gets smaller. Now, ideally, you say, well, it means I'll never use drugs again. Say, no, there's a place for drugs. But the number one drug you have to work with is food. The more you use food as a drug, be taken at the right dosage at the right time, the less you need of drugs to control the, the symptoms of the disease. It's the cellular inflammation that causes the disease. No drug can stop that, but food can. And if food is not totally sufficient, then you can use the least amount of the drug to control the symptoms of that chronic disease. And so my view of 21st century medicine, whether it'll be accomplished in my lifetime, highly unlikely, but sometime in the 21st century, I think will be seen, is it's all about wellness and the, maintain, the maintaining wellness. To do that, you have to reduce cellular inflammation. To do that, you have to control your hormones and your diet is your primary drug. And high dose fish oil is a key component of that diet. And if you're successful, you go back to the beginnings of modern medicine when Hippocrates said, let food be your medicine and let medicine be your food. We now know what the old guy was talking about. He's talking about how food affects our hormones and how our hormones can affect the expression of our genes. And that basically is 21st century medicine.
basically retaking control of your future by retaking control of your gene expression. Not using some new drug, but treating the oldest drug, food, with the same respect you would treat any other pharmaceutical.